Yeah, man. So there, yeah, so you see, some food thing, a forever thing. Yeah, man. See? Start from the so from 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 a young Richie, yeah. grown into a household. Well, um, as I said, it's a community thing. We start out there, so I sing for a friend them, and they might tell me say, yeah, it sounds good and everything. But of course, it was when the elder them start call me and ask me to sing, and I used to sing Dennis Brown tune them. Long live to Dennis, gone, but will never be forgotten. Um, I've got to get myself together to the foundation. That is the song that I used to sing when I was about 14. See? Man. And the man that would have given me money for school. <laughs> Round of applause always. So that is where my confidence all started and make me say this more and for the rest of my life. See? So enough credit to my community. Yeah, man. Now, what was the first time you like you stepped into a studio and said, you know what, I really want to do this? All right, so years after singing around the community, you know, I'm one of the hardest man to please with myself. Okay. So even though my community embraced me and loved me, I wanted a chance to sing outside of my community to see if I would get the same response. Because now this is not family and friends. This is strangers. Well, if you know someone good, them, this I'll go make you know. You know? Right. <laughs> yes, now without apology. So I journeyed to Spanish Town, where my father used to live. And that was where I got my real approval, a Virginian mumble that used to be a sound selector. Still a sound selector. See? And I, the youth, they hear me sing and start, bring me around Spanish Town and say, people here in Utah. And I would take the mic and sing a Stevie Wonder tune or a Dennis Brown. And, and some things start, you know, go on and the confidence start grow with the fame. You know, that may I get and to link up a band, become the lead singer, and the rest is history. That's really pretty it. So. Wow. Mm -hmm. you, you know what? One thing about you, you've never strayed from your spirituality. No, sir. You, you know, even with the album with your mom, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, the messages in the music, you know, is your, is, is, is your mom one of your biggest inspirations? Well, yes. And the reason being is that mommy was his mommy and daddy. Right. From then till now. So you know, I never grew up with a father. As I said, my father used to live in Spanish town. It wasn't until I was in my teens I met him for the first time. Okay. And um steer on him for a little bit. Then we gone off. Then look life. You understand? So I, I stayed with him for a short time in my life. I still okay. appreciate my father, big time, let me say that, because um he's done my father in his part of the working machine where I'm here. So you have to give him credit and big him up. But a lot of praises to my mother because she fight the struggle from then time there till even now. You understand me? Uh, Daddy dead and gone, um, God rest him soul. But um, it was a lot of struggle. And one great lesson that I learned from my family, I say family because it started with my grandmother, Mama Estelle, is that the foundation is spirituality. You can't leave Father God. You understand me? God is just God. You understand? Without God, I think we are nothing. A lot of people think different. But it's my foundation that and I never let it go. I know that there is a true and living God because God has revealed himself to me many, many times. And um, it is only right for me to even dedicate myself more to putting out songs and live the kind of lifestyle to represent God. I'm not saying that I'm a Christian. Right. Are, are, are they say a Christian is really a father of Christ but um, I into the spiritual side of life um, through my music and through my living it, 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 you know the, the new project that you have mm -hmm. this is not the first that you've done anything to do um, in praising God in music I have two past gospel albums right, right. right. Yes. you know what I mean mm -hmm. so now we're in 2023 we've just you know COVID happened. How did that affect Richie Stevens? You know, was was some of these projects in the making through COVID? COVID affected me just like everybody else. But during COVID was a time for me, an eye opener. Because everybody, one thing we never shot up is time. True. We did have a whole lot of time, you see. <laughs> Lockdown time to spend time with yourself. Yeah. So during that time, I reflect a lot. And out of that reflection comes a different mindset. You understand? Because I've been through a lot in my life and career. And 
just my journey has been rough. You understand? And as I said, God revealed himself to me many times. And I know if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even be here today. So I don't need nobody, no pastor, nobody at all to come tell me that there's a true living God. I know that within myself. Right. So when I sing, when I produce, when I ask another artist to come and sing, it has to be right. And that is what people are feeling through the street gospel rhythm that I have out now. You know, the questions that I, and it's like every day I'm in an interview. Because if it's not a question about Buju, why do you get Buju for voice? Well, that, that's the question you, I was going to ask. You get Buju for do a video? I mean, I say, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> we can't say no when God says. Yeah, true. And he's a very spiritual man anyway. So yes. I guess that, that would appeal to him in that level. Yeah, man. I mean, all of the artists, them. let me tell you something about this rhythm. There are a couple of artists who I'm bridging who big and established and want to do a song on it. But to be honest with you, it's not no hype thing. But we just never think it right okay. because of their presentation in music and their lifestyle. Okay. Because we don't want it to look like two other popular men have a trophy. Right. The right. trophy born to kill because killer has always, always been singing about, about God, God from day from one. Day one from the trophy being a man because the same thing, shake whatever in the name of Jesus, how many years ago. Um, People like um, Busy Signal. Always. That the man is a gospel man. Sanchez. Who sing gospel like Sanchez? You know? So if the people them on it, all of it made sense. It wasn't a popularity contest. It's for people who I think, honestly, would come on and give themselves to the song that they're singing so that it feel right. So when people talk about the love for the production, I feel good in myself because it means that we do the right thing and now people are, I love it. So we feel good. I'm not going to lie. When you said it to me from how oh, long ago, mm -hmm. it was like, yo, in find it again. Yeah, I remember it, that. It, 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 like, I remember what I said. <laughs> in find it again. Uncle Richard, send, send, yeah, send them one more. Send, send more. Mm -hmm. Because from the time I play your piece with Kukudu, they may, may play the Nitty Country and, and Bojo. And it was only two songs first. Only two songs first. Yes, because let me tell you quickly. This rhythm was born out of a goodwill. Okay. I have a friend in England called Curdell. <laughs> Curdell. <laughs> and she reached out to me to ask me to do a school song for a little school in St. Elizabeth. Okay. She called me from England here and asked me because she knows some people who run a little school and they would love a school song. During that time, I was very busy. So I listened to the message, but never replied at the same time. And then she sent me another text. I'm a listener, I said, sure. Whoa, them thing and time consuming in a brother. Plus expensive, because I wouldn't really ask the school if I'm going to do it, to pay me to do it. Right. So I knew I was going to pick up some expense for myself because I was going to do it on my own. Anyway, I didn't even tell her yes or no. I just start. Put the song together. And I finish up the song, send the song to her, and she sent it to the school people, and they were very, very excited. As a matter of fact, they asked me if I would do a video for the school and go on TVJ in Jamaica. And I tell wow. them yes, because I love them kind of things. However, I was playing the track, which is a street gospel track. And I said, wow, but this song is weird. This song nice. And while I was there listening to the track, this melody, Lord, I thank you. For life, yes, I thank you. That's Nitty Kochi song. Yes. So I call Kochi and said, Kochi, you know, man, I hear a melody and nice, you know, it's you who want to sing it. So he said, What do you mean? Anything you say to daddy? So I went to the studio, I voice him, and then we say, One thing though, for the song to be complete, Bujo, if I do a verse. Say, All right. but, but, but let me just start <laughs> stick up in. Yeah. You, you, you found the melody. Yes. In your mind straight away, mm -hmm. you've gone to Nitty Kochi. Yes, sir. Nobody has entered your mind at that time. Nitty Kochi alone. Not even me. I wrote the song. Yeah. It's Nitty Kochi me here I sing it. Right. In my mind. Or in my head. <laughs> and then, in your mind again, mm -hmm. nobody else except Bojo. Because all along we have recorded somebody so I hear Bojo I do the next part. Right. So when I said to Kochi, he said, well, I... You try, because you know Boudreau have him studio and him voice for him. He do his production for himself for years and years. So I don't yeah. want to know that. So I said, no, man. 
this is a good song. And usually, an artist, as Shaba said, DJ crack up on them here, boom, rhythm. See? <laughs> Some say, power the two, man. I give you one. A good device. See? Wow. So I say, all right, this is not a buck up. This is a spiritual thing. I'm going to say. Yeah. Because we do the impossible there. Anyway, they get bojo. right after that, me sing a song on it and call in the youth kukudu. Right. So we went to a session one night now. And the two songs them playing on the dance and going away. The dance of them love it and the selector said they really my bad and the excitement, right? Then one killer stand up right beside me at the dance and say, Richie, it's bad, you know. <laughs> it's bad. One piece it, you know. And I say, you know, says a gospel thing and him said, I'm gonna hear it, man. That's why I want it. So I said, I do a song with Kevin Downs. <laughs> the man said, what do you mean? I'm an artist. So we cop that song there. Boom, that song with the voice. Be the man, hear the rhythm, man. Go in a one, dance in a brother. Go in sing, stand up over the song with the mic and say, Richie, you know, hurry up, man, you know. Oh, come smell the pan already, man. <laughs> so we said, we here. Relax yourself, you. We'll link up tomorrow. <laughs> See, we'll link up. Beanie and the Flames, the girl the Flames. Yeah, the Flames, bad, yes, bad, 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 bad artists. See? No, me, I said, no, we can't do this, no, and Sanchez and the panic. I know Sanchez and my brother. He said, no, sir. So me send the rhythm to sing, and say, singer. Boom, bang. He send me back in vocal. Nice. You understand? So we put Sanchez out. And then, this is signal called me and say, this can't go on without my brother. Me, no. I feel upon this. Man, no. it's a busy. You know, say, me and Killa talk about you upon the rhythm. Yeah. yeah, but when you try to find him, you did the pan tour. He said, me, they're a big yard. No, come, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so I just saw the thing come together, brother. So it's a blessing, though. To me, it's more than us. We talk all the time. This is bigger than us. This is something that's so, so necessary. Why? We're going through a time that people need to hear the word of God. And especially in the dance hall, where our young people always party, they need to hear. Because if you are free, the people are talk about Obi-Man and gathering, and that become the popular culture. You know? After a while, if you're not careful, the Obi-Man will get more famous than Jesus Christ. You know? <laughs> and this is not a joke thing. This true. is the not popular culture. This is not me say it. This is just the way of the world. Whatever you preach to people, it's going to reach the people. Why it is so fashionable now? One time, if you say something about Oberman, and say the, the, the man like Oberman put up your hand. Every hand gone up. Now, when you say Obia, the dance floor get busy. And be a foul with a ball. And all who have them gathering everything up. I say, but what is this? So we uh -huh. have a problem with the, the Oberman. I live like a rock star, brother. When you look at the, 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 the industry now, mm -hmm. and you've been around for the longest time, mm -hmm. right? The industry of reggae music. Mm -hmm. Them say, it now really go on now, now go on with nothing. You know what I mean? They, they, it's not being played enough in a dance, pan, radio, wherever. Mm -hmm. What is your take on the state of the industry of reggae music right now? The standard of living in general is not where it used to be. There's okay. a lot of things that's changed for the worse. Look upon the food that we eat, brother. You know, look upon just the day-to-day -day living, the stress level, the different diseases. People are fallen and are dead. Like, yeah, you understand me? It's like a lot of things change. However, music is consumed differently. Music is not produced the way it was. Like live instruments and spend a lot of time everything is just quick now because everything is at the, t the touch of a button mm. so it's almost disposable but one would argue and say but afrobeat are going good and we're still living at the same time so let me give some credit to the afrobeat people because afrobeat to me is what dance all once was fun music fun music yeah. same think, problems yeah. we're having i think the lyrics of the dance hall now is too dark we are singing about Obi Man from here. Here, nobody else is singing about that in the world. Nowhere at all. You understand? Nobody not chop. You know, no music, which means for those of who don't know, chopping is how to rob people and to some. I mean, them type of lyrics. Them who really interested to hear them lyrics? Them, eh? Gathering. We are singing about gathering for do we are do. 
But don't come sing about it because it just about mm-hmm. end up in a one little circle spinning round and round. <coughs> it's not going to reach out to nobody internationally. People don't really want to hear that. And that's just the truth to me. You understand? So, this rivalry developed now with Afrobeat and, and dance, uh, which I, I, every time I get the opportunity, I remind people to think about where this rivalry is going. Because I appear black people in you know, this, you know, reggae and dance hall and, and, and scare and all those music. Are black people music. So we're going to start fighting ourselves now because the Africans getting some success. How many years we are fighting for the liberation of African people? When apartheid did come in and Mandela was, was in captive, Jamaican people, the first set of people start the campaign to free this man. You yeah. understand? So how comes it reaches a stage now where we are going to go and we stop the foolishness. Let we get back to it. We need to go to the drawing board. Dance all and reggae music and Jamaica music is just the greatest music in the world. So let's go back to the drawing board and try to fix the problem. The problem can be fixed. And stop trying to compete and blame everything. We are do some things when it's all right. The rate you then become me personally listen to a lot of young artists to get ideas. Yeah. I don't think that me are no general and me are no, no veteran we know it all now, sir. Me listen to Dexter Dapsalak because I think he's a very talented artist with a lot of new things yeah. to offer in music in terms of melodies and words and production. I mean, some people think him too hardcore, but you have to look past that when they talk about talent. Okay. You understand yeah. me? Yeah. So, a lot of young youth out there are rate, so I don't want it to seem like me a try to, to bash them. And nobody. No, mm. sir. I mean, I'm not into that. You understand me? He's a man who go to my session at night time to go hear what play. Me one who sing that a while ago. So all the little young youth them, well, some of them don't even know some know them. We know them and know them too. Because we have to know what is going on musically. Right. Because I'm still producing, still singing, still making new music. So you have to compete with what is going on. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we love the youth them. But we are saying we could take a look from the lyrical content of what we are singing. So that is the problem to me. The lyrical content of the popular music of today. Do the sound system owners and the radio presenters and, and, and radio personalities have a, 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 a job to play in that? Say that again? Do the radio presenters have a job uh, you know, in, and a role to play in, Let me in, tell you something. in, this, in this right now? Everything starts with the music that's been produced and put out. Because I go in at a session and some youth I see a play Yard Ring and Obi Man. I know so they not believe in them something like that. God, I don't mean, know personally. But that is how pop culture stay. It's a trendy situation. What is trending? What is popular? That everybody has to run to play because they know how flopping at the dance. So a popularity contest. Then. Yes, 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 man. More than anything else. And as I said, certain things get fashionable. So we young people, them now grew up and that them come see. So them just try to be a part of it. So what dancers need doing now is strong leadership. Because without leadership, the ship and sailing, you understand, it's like one place. Right. So we need we need strong leadership, man. We, we need some new bone to killer. Remember when killer did step up in the dance as a youngster and this youth just come in with authority. Authority meaning that him come in and him just say some things and when you listen to him, say, say, oh, I'm so brave. Can we just come in and say, poor people fed up and start telling, said, we don't want no politician at the ghetto. We don't go no go away. Them type of thing that we need that now with some younger youth. To say, we're not going to do a man thing. And the move for me, I said, with that. We don't have that. Everybody knows just a father. You understand? There's no artist in your view at the moment as an as a elder in the business that you could say then, that artist there could do it, or that artist there could do it? Um, we don't like point finger. I yeah. We just like to generalize and say, the youth them eat the food, go and do the work, but just remember, see, there's a little responsibility when you're popular. So try to keep the thing palatable, keep it wholesome. You understand? You know, some music have to be hardcore and some man have to sing about this and that and mix the thing, but keep a balance now. A balance. Yeah. Keep a balance. Find a balance. Yes. You, have, you, you know what? I, I need to play this tune because, again, you sent me this song and it created waves. The video was mad mm-hmm. as well, right? I, I need the story behind this song.
I need the story because Sanchez has always been consistent in putting out songs. You're always consistent. Where did this idea forward from? <laughs> well, this is when it comes to Kevin now, as we say, a family thing, you know? Right. Sanchez, way before he meet Sanchez, read Sanchez as one of the top singers, even when he was very young. You know, see, because I remember at some Sun Splash many years ago, and before me start the my thing, before me get my break, I was in the audience and when, when Barry G called up Sanchez on stage um, for singer's night, it was a very special moment. That moment it touched me because Sanchez was a little boy. And then he joined Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaac, John Holt, wow. and the man they on the same stage. So he said, if he can do that, me can do that too. You understand? So Sanchez has been an inspiration to you? Yes, man. You know, wow. Kevin, man. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, man. Big up Kevin, man. And so when me get a break in the business and get to know Sanchez, we just develop an energy there where it's like we know each other a long time and, you know, me have a great respect for him talent. Likewise, him rate me too. And we've done many shows over the years, but never actually get around to doing recording until recently. We've done a song many years ago. Okay. But recently now, we decide to get together and do some songs, you know. And this song, Double Fire Trouble, is one of the songs of the few songs that we have unreleased. Um, unreleased? Has, I mean, other songs. Oh, 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 oh no, okay. This, this release are out there. But there are lots of other songs. Because we're working on a project. There is no definite date when it's coming out. But we have a few songs and still working on songs. And everything we are doing, Everything me I do, we have to involve, involve Sanchez. Other than a, Sanchez being a great singer, as me say, I'm a bridge. You understand me? We, so we chat on the phone all the while and we talk about music and we talk about life and all the other things, you know? So we want to big up Sir Kevin and trust me, the song yeah, is a song that is almost like a, a lot of people are hailing it up as a classic. You understand me? And um, we performed it a few times. When it just come out, and we looking forward to go on tour and sing this song, and you know it we're ready. A good song is a good song, sir. You can't you can't beat good music, mm -hmm. and it's timeless music. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'd love to see the both of you forward to the UK because I think that show would be a massive, massive <laughs> show. Richie Stevens and Sanchez. Yeah, man, because we tour in America one time, and trust me, from the beginning to the end of the tour. Solo business, very nice, you know. So, we're hoping to get back on the road soon. How soon? Well, we people in Wazi, there's a whole heap of foreigners around here listening you know, right now, you know. Listen, you know, you know I always can predict the time, you know, but we just know, say, we're ready for it, him ready, me ready, and everything shaping up. So, that's why we're getting some songs together. So, when we have a few songs together, it's better for us on tour that we just have a segment where we just do some songs. True. Is it? True. Yeah. So you're here in the UK? Yes, sir. I'm not going to lie. I've seen the footage <laughs> over Narbury. You see the footage? <laughs> the footage, the footage don't look now, sir. No, it's never now. I, I see you running up on the... Your, 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 your name is now Mr. Vegas. You, you run up on the crowd. The name there. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Mr. Vegas. See? Big up Mr. Vegas. Performance but, level, but, brother. No, you are going on. First of all, we just want to say thanks to the people that came out to the show. I really and truly enjoyed myself. It was a nice, nice, nice vibe. And big up the promoter. Big up the promoter. When a promoter deliver, you just have to feel good about it. You understand me? So the people came out in numbers. And big up Sasko too. Because you yeah, know, agent even, Sasko. Sasko was here. Did you even get for the link, Sasko, man? Sas Sasko represent, I tell it to brother, so... It was a nice evening, man. I'm big up, big up to each and every one that came out. Yeah. You're here for a hot minute then? Um, yeah, I'm going to be here for a few more days. I'm doing some studio business. Like okay. Anywhere in the world, I'm going to be there. That I feel involved in. So is there any secret projects that you can 
you know, give a hint to listeners yes, then while going, while yes, you're here man. in the UK. I have a big secret project. It's so big of a secret that I can't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks, I can't give you no exclusive scoop. You know what I mean? He it's, it's a secret and can't tell nobody. Wow. Uh, but we'll know soon, man. Soon, soon. Wow. <laughs> I, I think, I think, really and truly, you know, you're a man so gifted. I mean, I don't even know what to say. On my show, mm-hmm. on my show, before we leave, we have a thing say so we put on some rhythm. I met the artists, bless the people them. <laughs> Brilliant, how you see? Man, you know, you know, give me one in. What did you watch your show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> yo, me a talk like me a idiot. <laughs> How about this? No man, me, me know about it. You, you know, know about it, right? Yeah, I'm performing then at the end of the performance. You get a little thing. I give him a little thing. I look, I look, I look at Tungo Lungo. All right, watch her now. I'm going with you, right? Now don't draw some. My, cause my middle name already me know. And you, as a legend, as I said earlier in the show, you know. I would have probably three houses, two car, but the amount of money where me have my brown record label in pot of gold. Mm-hmm. I didn't even have enough time to go go for them for you to sign them so we can sign them and put them up, never to be played again. Cause mm-hmm. I still love my record, them, you know. Yeah? Yeah, you know what I mean? Man. You can't be Listen, you know, see my old fashioned and PSED. Well, yesterday we go to a record store and see my first album. Then you will run a super run a Father Wally, big up yes. Father Wally. First album that was. Special, you know, yeah, man, a big up specialist, a specialist produce album there. So, you know, you know, you know, sign it and left it for the while you're finished. No, just leave it up there, make it stay. Make it stay? Yeah, man, make it stay. Sure. <laughs> I, t- I might have to leave here and go there and go buy it, you know. <laughs> I think I might have to do that. All right, people, you're in for a special treat before we get out the door. Richie Stevens is here, the legend. And I, and I don't use that word lightly. You have to be given your flowers now. And it over, sir. Yes, as sir. Busy would say. As, as Marcy, I would say. You need my flowers now, you know. <laughs> you know we <laughs> <laughs> Marcy, you do, I, I'm busy said that on this very show. He said, yo, I want it now. Yes, sir. Don't tell me that when I'm gone. I want it now. Mm. So you have to be given your flowers because you, you are a part, a cornerstone of the industry of reggae and dancehall and should be recognized as such. Well, I'm glad to be here still doing it and I give thanks every day. I give thanks for the support. Even the fact that I came here to England and a lot of people come out and support and still I enjoy themselves. I was still able to go there and deliver where I deliver in good health. Let me give thanks, brother. All right. Just say a word. You already know? Always ready. All right. Read him. Hey, left me, left me, left me till the morning come. Left me, left me, left me, yeah. Hey, don't you never know that I love you, love you, love you. I bet you never know I love you. Bet you never. When we went to dance, I would not know. Welcome, I would not know what we are going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, extra. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see, you see, you see. I told you, my name is Rhythm. Them the Rhythm there is Foundation. When we went in the Coca Basket, you know, Coca Basket. All right, then, right? Get, all right, all right, Uncle Richie. Give, give, we give, we, we make it look easier then. Make it look easier, right? I'll make it look easy for you. Thing, All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sit down, read him again. Sit down. Why you not load up, man? Whoa, well. Oh, love. Whoa, well. Check this. I've got to get myself together. Can't afford to let my faith go, you know. When if I just sun come shining, my sister's around smiling. 
The one is a dying. My people are crying. We are living in the love of the Father. Living in the else of the Almighty. Living in the love of the Father. Living in the else of the Almighty. Yeah. I sing that song because when I sang that was the first little chosen. Yeah, right. When he's the girl that I sing. See? Yeah, yeah, no, right, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that story is, is mentioned yeah, earlier. Right, like, right, he went right, into yeah. the Dennis Brown vault here. Yeah. I would say, I'm the first little tune this me learn as a little youth. And yeah, right. I sing to my yeah, friend. Not Mad. Does that give, does that give you different emotions when you, if you get opportunity to sing any Dennis Brown songs like that? Reggie, this is Dennis Brown now. When I met Dennis Brown, when we just started another business, D Brown gave me a welcome there that I will never forget as long as I live. And I've learned how important it is to embrace new talent. Don't hold back to tell them, say, listen, you sound good, love where you do, keep going. Because the advice that coming from someone who's been around for long, you mean the world. And not just that. D Brown said, where you do Sunday? Because Dennis Brown is the nicest man in the world, you know. Right. We had a Sunday, so I said, nothing. We have a million things I do, you know, but D Brown asked me, what I do something. You see? And he said, come on, Fort Lawrence. I call the pastors. Jesus, peace. He said, I reach over Fort Lawrence early. <laughs> this is when D Brown called me up, Bridging. It was an acceptance to my peers on another level. Wow. So me can't have stop love the brother there, Dennis Brown. Love Dennis Brown. So when me sing a Dennis Brown song, it does something to me all the time. See? Wow. Read him up. Uh, 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 you know what me want to hear? Mm. Me love for you hear your song of the street gospel upon this rhythm here. I can see if it can work now. All right, watch it now. Read him. Read him. Lord and read him. <laughs> Some people say there is no God. I swear I'm not gonna Oh, the second. Oh, the second. Oh, the second. the Read it. Yeah, man, a God child, man. One way and a God way, you know. God ain't gonna know the youth them say, you know. And that we are promoting, you know. In a Jamaica and around the world, you know. All who love God now, this one. Hear some people say, There is no God, I just pray them away. I say, forgive them. Cause they know. No, 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 no bother with that. <laughs> no bother with that. <laughs> that is always, and well, I know. Yeah, this public, <laughs> yeah, I know it's public. So well, well, no, 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 no. The Anton, but Anton, I have to turn off right now. All right, so we only have it for six months. Then you can share it <laughs> I don't care after six months, but me go and run with it, and then they can go take it up. Yeah, no, 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 no. All sound man answered up a ton off right now. Oh, you mean? I we have time. Give them one more rhythm. Your voice are tuned for me upon this rhythm, but I no, want to see if you have something else. Let me see what one. I want to see if you have something else. Hey. Lord of mercy. Hey, Rude White Dance Alty. Watch this. The 
in the game out of town. Before I show up myself. Pull up. Pull up. Me a bark them doggy doggy cat and lag it up. Mark we a mark them. Bark. Legal. Drop your cat. Drop your cat. Big up all those that are on TikTok and all these things that I give. Be a forward, yeah. Be a forward, that's all that these things that you are getting. Big up and bless up. You don't know that foundation thing that I'm not yeah, I'm not craving. I just have an ears for music. From the time I heard street gospel, and I be, remember saying that the car there's Uncle Richie. Remember if he said, Mr. T.S. said, oh, I don't mean have busy signal. Mm. He said, I don't send you. I said, no. I have the Sanchez, but I just play the Sanchez. I the man. I remember I said, come out with Sanchez alone. For right. And I so I said, busy say, say, Richie, this can't go out without me. Right. No, no, no. Big yard. No, no, no. All right. And the time I heard your piece, I said, Showtime, that can't go on. I uh, see a reach, I know. And it tests you out. Showtime. What do you mean? Rude boy, rubber dub dance all style now. You are telling stars. Hey! Watch me now. Watch you now. Lay bottom king, cause love is all I bread. This I wanna keep it ragging and swing. Well, tell him about it. Watch you now. The baby get out of town. Before I swing up my son. You mother foolish, let them try. Lord of mercy. Poof, bop, we hit you. Right between the eyes, what a surprise! I know that, I know that. Who the shape of me? I've lost the race again. I tell you, start. Get on the hoop, stand up, fight back, fight to win. Yeah. Get on the hoop, stand up, fight back. Oh Lord of mercy. A lot of mercy, hey, mama, you deserve a pot of gold. The driving force in my life, mama, you deserve a pot of gold. You taught me how to survive, mama, you deserve a pot of gold. The driving force in my life, mama, you deserve a pot of gold. All right, sir, sing with me now. Sing with me. Let's drink for the hard work it be more No sir No sir we have got, I, Anton, I have to delete this audio and visual you know Come in around and people hear my ideas that were me you were you know I mean I like it Stop We just gave them an unwrapping of the sweet <laughs> paper and give them a little taste you understand the legend Yo. Richie Stevens in the building. I feel honored. I feel blessed because it's an interview that I've wanted for many, many years, it's and especially cool. face to face. Mm. Now, we, we can do internet and Zoom and all uh, these things. Type of things. I'm, I'm in and out of Jamaica, but to actually be here and say, yeah. Yeah, man. Uncle Richie, this yo, the original God, bad boss. Yeah, man, give thanks. We're so, glad to be here too. Yeah, you know I mean, don't get it twisted. We're glad to be here too. Brothers, we want to support you face to face as well. I make you know, say you're great. Love what you do, and just keep the fire blazing. No, man, I try yeah. my best. I yeah, do, man. I do but my best. Round of applause, make no, you feel no, 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 yeah, no, 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 once again, is there any message you can leave to your fans in the UK, around the world, via TikTok, via Instagram, via all the W's dot just cool radio dot net? Uncle Richie, what yeah, man, message um, the message is I've, I've been reading a lot lately and I book up a very interesting read. As, um, the, the, the message was don't take yourself too seriously. So when people Try to say and do things. You don't know and take it so serious already. So it have no effect on you. Amen. And once you learn that, you're on the way to freedom. Trust me. <laughs> There's a lot of power in that statement. Yep. You understand? Because we're living in a time where if you take everything too seriously, your blood pressure might go. And you might fall ill and drop down and dead. Because a whole heap of things are going on in the world. You know? Too much to manage. Whole heap of things with your children and 
some people have me know if you're just afraid and afraid because you just honestly don't know what they're going to say tomorrow or what they're going to try to at us tomorrow. But don't take it so seriously because it just might do something to you physically. So that's the message I'm going to leave. People, you heard it. But Uncle Richie, I want, I, want, I want to ask you one thing. Yes. I want to test you up on something. Because I know say you is a bad singer, you know. For sing anything. Again. Sing it again, brother. One, I want, but just want to test me, just forget it. In a, but before we leave, send them out the door. Send them out the door upon <laughs> something like this. Sell a sweetie shop, people. <laughs> people, uh -huh. I will be back in the building tomorrow. 